Hey everybody and welcome back to Avid Max Tying Tuesday. Brady Lair with you once more tying up some midges. We're doing Phil Iwani's No Mercy Midge today. It's a cool little emerging midge. So we head into the winter, things get colder, the midges are going to be your best bet uh, for a lot of, especially your tailwater fisheries, but a lot of different waterways out there. Going to be the most prominent bug, the most active bug, um, and definitely one that fish key in on throughout the season. So this one's a good one to have in your arsenal. Simple to tie up, only takes a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and get one going. And so you can see we have one in the vise there, started out. We're gonna throw in our hook here. This is a good old 2487 from Tiemco, distributed by Umqua. Great midge hook, got a nice curved profile with a down eye. A go-to hook for me. And then the thread we're using today to start out, we're gonna have two threads today, is the UTC70 in olive. So doing an olive variation, you could do browns and tans and all black, lots of different options out there for this No Mercy Midge. I'm just gonna wrap on back a little ways here and then we'll get right into tying our next material on. We're gonna try and keep this profile fairly slim overall. And so the next thing to go in is our CDC Puff. And I'm using just some tan today. It's more of a subdued color than you might normally see. A lot of times these are a white puff for that emerging bubble or shock. But the tan's a nice natural sort of subdued color to have as well. I'm just gonna lay that right on top there and lock her in place with a few locking wraps. Can also move it around a little bit at this point if we need to. And I'll leave myself a little bit of wiggle room on the front end. Then we can clip out the excess tag of the CDC puff there. And then I'm gonna go right into the next material, which is some wire. And I got some Semperfly 0.1 millimeter wire here today. This is closely gauged to an extra small wire if you're shopping from UTC. This is a good size for your 18s and down. Sometimes I'll even get away with a small on a size 18 if I want that ribbing to be really pronounced. The No Mercy Midge, this extra small, fits the bill nicely. I'm just going to walk right on back and then forward with it all the way back to where our CDC puff is hanging out. I might even take that forward just a notch there. And then the next material in line is our next thread and this is some Danville 70. So what I like to do here is just give it a quick whip finish to make sure that nothing's going to come loose on it. But then we're going to come right over that with our new tying thread with some locking wraps and lock all of that thread down and in place underneath the thorax. Come through and clip out their excess there. We're done with our olive thread for now. And then we can go ahead and rib out our body at this point. Throw in another half hitch here. Keep that from moving as well. You can rotary or hand over hand at this part. I'm just going to come in and start making some counter wraps. Open, spaced evenly, right on forward. There's four or five. Throw in a couple extra up front just for security there underneath. Clip out that little piece of feather that got trapped on me. We'll cover it up in a minute here anyway. Now I'm just going to lock everything down with our Danville's thread. Once I know nothing's going to move on me then I can spin that out of the way and then we're going to just finish off the head here, cover everything up, clean it a bit. Work on forward, covering all that olive thread. 
Making a nice bulbous thorax of this bug. And then we can come in and whip finish. And I like to pull my puff back. You do have to leave yourself a little bit of room for this. Um, you can always finish right over the top if you want, but I do like to sneak underneath and that just helps that puff sort of stay upright a little bit. And then we can whip finish under there. I'm going to pull it all back. Give her some locking wraps without crowding that eye. And then one final maneuver on this bug. And that's a little bit of UV finish. You can come in with some traditional hardhead if you have that at home, if you're willing to wait. But I have some UV handy here with my nice UV light. So I'm just gonna put a very, very small dab on there. And if you've ever used the Solarez tubes, you know that they tend to get pressurized and sometimes when you open them, they might ooze out on you a little bit. So I always like to have a bodkin handy where I can just kind of come in and take a little bit of that. And then I can really be very deliberate about where I'm gonna put the UV on my fly now. And I'll usually start on the top and then sort of let that soak down and around a little bit, but then having a rotary at this point makes a big difference for me because I can turn the bug and try and get a nice even coating on the fly all the way around. Once you're pleased with that, you take your UV light and you give it a flash. On these bugs, I tend to leave my CDC puff nice and long, like it is. It's a pretty long CDC puff on this little size 18. But I found that you can always trim it down if you want. If you got uh, some picky fish out there, sometimes that'll make the difference. If you take this bug and you just, you know, clip it about halfway or off entirely. If you don't have any midge larvas in your box, you can always take your CDC puff, your emerging insects, clip off that bug, that wing, that emerging wing, and you got yourself a nice little larva to fish. But the Iwani No Mercy Midge is a great little fly to have in the arsenal. So thanks for watching. We appreciate you checking out this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you and allows you to tie up some of these flies for yourself. If you did enjoy the video, we appreciate a thumbs up on there. Helps the video uh, reach more people. And then uh, you can check out in the description below, we got all the links to the products that we used here, as well as links to our site with a world of materials, anything you could ever think of available. Um, and most stuff ships same day. So get after it. But uh, all in all, have a good time tying and good luck out on the water. Thanks for watching.